If you've ever been told to drink water or more water, here's the reasons why. I hope you enjoy the video. Hello everyone, Dr. Jason West with five tips that are gonna be amazing for your overall health. And it seems so simple and yet it gets so overlooked and I really am excited to share with you some really cool resources that it's not just me saying this. There's a, a medical doctor named Dr. Batman Gildi and then there's a nutritionist named Jenny Carr that has been providing me with some really neat content. I just read her book. I'm building upon my base with her ideas and that's all about water and why it's so important for water and I advise people to do this if you want to keep your skin looking healthy, if you want to help your kidneys, if you want to flush toxins out of your body, if you want energy, if you want weight loss, water is the key and people will look at me and they say that's just too simple or I don't like water. And my response to people that don't like water is there are some ways that you can make it a little bit flavorful using some lemon or using a little bit of lime and some other things. But it also the hard truth is it's a free country. You can have your symptoms as long as you want. And this simple, simple way to improve your health is just amazing. So let's talk about one of my favorite things and that's about toxin removal and toxic fat syndrome. You know we're just kind of like big water balloons walking around with a tons and tons of fluid in our system. And what happens is if we don't keep putting fluid in the system, what happens is we become dehydrated, we get arthritis, we get muscle aches and pains, we get charley horses, we get brain fog, and then we start gaining weight. And what will happen is people will say, well, how can you do that? How can you gain weight by not having enough water? And that leads us to what I call toxic fat syndrome. So what happens is we live in 2017 and we're getting all of this junk from the environment, either purposely or accidentally. Purposely, we can get through fast food and soda pop consumption and some other things. But accidentally, we have stuff in the environment with chemicals, herbicides, pesticides, antibiotics that gets into our food supply and our water supply chain and gets into our system. And if we don't have good detox pathways to get rid of it, our detox pathways aren't open, our body will hold on to those and will store them in the fat tissue and it won't let go. And then what happens is we get bigger and bigger and we're holding on to stuff and we're saying, you know, I just don't have a lot of calorie intake, but I'm holding on this. It's because you're toxic. And so one of the things that I'm advising people to do is to get lots and lots of water. And you may have heard one of the rules for water consumption is half of your body weight in ounces. So I'm 195 pounds. If I divide it by two, I should be drinking about 95 ounces of water every day. And people say, well, I can't drink that much because I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom. And I'll say, that's really, really good. Usually doesn't last more than five or seven days when that happens, but you start flushing enormous toxins. When you're going to the bathroom because you're drinking water is because your body is dumping stuff. You should drink more water. And I've had so many women with hormone problems say, well, I don't like to drink water because I don't go to the bathroom. And my response is, you know what, if you'll do this for a little while, your body will reset but it dumps tons and tons of toxins. Now in Jenny's book, which I just read called The Piece of Cake, which I, I'm happy because I helped her with her health and I wrote the forward for the book, it talks about the importance of 128 ounces of water every day. And I've literally had to open up smelling salts because people faint when I tell them that that's how much water they should drink. But your inflammation and your toxins literally melt away if you'll commit to one week of 128 ounces of water you'll see amazing health changes. It helps with bowel function, it helps with kidneys, it helps with skin health, it helps to get rid of rashes and acne and psoriasis and it helps the, the GI system to work better. And most of the time people don't like water because they've conditioned themselves to not like water. And what's happening now is with their health problems, they're paying the price from not liking water and you just have to train yourself to like water. I like to tell people, get a quart of water, put a little bit of a lemon squeeze or a little bit of lime in it, drink it, set it up on a schedule, you drink a quart when, right when you get up, you drink a quart at lunch, you drink a quart before dinner. The other amazing thing that water does is so many people think that their hunger pains, that would that, that trigger something to eat something, is actually a thirst pain. And if you drink water, it decreases your food, your ability to put all the food inside your system. It controls your portion size. It's such an amazing recommendation of lots of water every day. I'm gonna follow that recommendation of 128 ounces of water. I'm on my third day of doing it. 
I'm already seeing toxins removal. I've already lost a couple pounds, which wasn't my goal to do that. But water, water, water. It is the most amazing liquid. We're 70% water. We're helping to manage the body's fluids. It helps with kidney function, helps with bowel function when we get that much water. And if you're one of those people that are getting lots of water and still feel thirsty, it means you have a mineral imbalance. So we want to make sure that we have the right ratio of calcium to magnesium, calcium to potassium, calcium to phosphorus. It'll help with those people that don't seem to think they can get enough water. And that's usually pretty rare. Most people are chronically dehydrated. I've seen it help amazing conditions from, again, from arthritis, anxiety, depression, tendonitis, bowel function, hormone balance, and most important, overall energy and brain health. Thanks for watching the video on water and why it's so important to keep your hydration. Please give us a thumbs up and share the video if you see value. And there's a free report on the many things that water does for you and the link to Jenny's book, A Piece of Cake.